Modern hunting crossbows have experienced a significant evolution in design in recent years. Hunting crossbows are now shorter, narrower, weigh less, and shoot harder and faster than they ever have before. As a result, many crossbow hunters now wonder if they can extend their effective hunting ranges out to distances past 50 yards, which has traditionally been accepted as the maximum ethical distance for hunting. Despite the recent advancements to hunting crossbows, attempting a shot at an animal greater than 50 yards is still a bad idea. The further away you are from an animal, the less chance you will see an obstruction that your arrow could strike on the way, possibly resulting in a bad hit, a wounded animal, or a failed recovery. Despite the fact that modern crossbow scopes magnify the image you see when you look through your scope, the magnification will still not be great enough to see a small object in front of the animal when you're attempting a shot at a long range. Remember, an arrow can easily be diverted from its intended flight path by even the slightest glance off of an object. This is why it's critical that you ensure that you have a clear path between you and the animal before you take the shot. Modern hunting crossbows are now shooting in excess of 400 feet per second, with some even shooting up to 470 feet per second. And it's true that shooting a crossbow arrow faster helps to flatten the arrow's trajectory. But this advantage only holds out to about 50 yards. But even the fastest arrow cannot overcome the pull of gravity, and the arrow will lose speed, energy, and even elevation very quickly past 50 yards. For example, a 400 grain arrow that travels at 400 feet per second from a crossbow will drop 93 inches. That's over seven feet to hit a target at 100 yards. This means that you not only need a shooting lane that is wide enough for the arrow to fit through, but also high enough to accommodate the height of your arrow's trajectory. You don't want your arrow to hit an overhanging object like a tree branch or a vine on its way out to the animal. Also, the angle of entry of your arrow increases significantly past 50 yards, which can affect the orientation of the wound channel created by your broadhead possibly missing the animal's vital organs. Most crossbow manufacturers rate the performance of their crossbows with up to speed. The up to speed is the maximum speed that the bow will shoot the lightest recommended arrow. The lightest and fastest arrow though is not always the best one for hunting. Most crossbow hunters will choose a heavier arrow that shoots more slowly but has a greater amount of kinetic energy. Keep in mind as soon as the arrow leaves the flight rail of a crossbow, it begins to slow down. The up to speed then is not how fast your arrow will be traveling downfield, especially at long range. In fact, the further the arrow travels, the slower it's moving through the air. Some arrows can lose up to 15% of their speed and up to 25% of their kinetic energy levels by the time they have reached just 50 yards. So if you decide to take a shot at greater than 50 yards, your arrow will likely be traveling more slowly and with less kinetic energy than you realize, which can lead to very poor penetration, a shallow wound channel, and a wounded animal that you likely won't ever recover. Two other factors to consider are wind drift and the animal jumping the string. Just like any projectile, a crossbow arrow can be pushed off course by the wind a few inches at 50 yards, but several inches at 100 yards, which is enough for you to miss the vitals area of the animal altogether. The wind also might be blowing harder much further downfield from where you're shooting. Even if you have one of the fastest shooting crossbows on the market, an animal can still jump the string at extreme distances. So let's say that your crossbow shoots 450 feet per second. If you take a shot at 100 yards, at the average speed of sound, It'll take 0.27 seconds for the sound of the shot to reach the animal, but it'll take your arrow 0.67 seconds to get there. This means that the arrow arrives almost a half second after the sound of the shot arrives. This is ample time for an animal to react to the sound of the shot and move out of position prior to your arrow's arrival. As an ethical hunter, you have assumed the responsibility of taking a shot at an animal that you feel will yield the greatest chance for harvest and recovery. In other words, it's your responsibility to take the shot that has the highest chance for success. So remember, the closer you take your hunting shots, the less chance that the shot will be affected by an obstruction, the drop in the arrow's trajectory, a loss of speed and energy, wind drift, or the animal jumping the string. 
Ultimately, crossbow hunting is a game of probabilities, and the most successful crossbow hunter is the one who chooses the shot with the highest probability for success. For more information, please visit our website at tenpointcrossbows.com. Thanks for watching.